Hello Aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading. Aquarius, this is for the week of December 12th through the 18th. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. If you're new here, I appreciate you all being here so very much. Your time and energy mean the world to me. If you are returning, thank you so much again for your trust and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes, all the comments, all the things. I try to answer any questions you all have, so I'm still small enough that I can do that for right now. So I am, I do do that. All right, let us see Aquarius. Anything you need is in the description below. If you like a personal private reading with me, if you like to know what decks of cards I'm using, if you like um, my website, everything's below. Help yourself. All right, Aquarius. Beautiful movement. We have the chariot. We have the fool. That's two major arcanas. And we have the hermit. Ha, oh, you got three major arcanas. Bottom of the deck. Two of cups. Partnership, coming together, like minded people. There could be somebody you have your eye on. Um, Aquarius, Aquarius, or there could be somebody that has their eye on you. It could start out as a friendship. It could, you know, there could be an attraction between the two of you. Uh, it could be a Leo. Uh, it could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, choose a card of balance or a number of balance and your emotions. Bringing balance to your emotions. Bringing balance into your psychicness. Bringing balance into your intuition. Again, being like-minded people. Um, sharing something together. You have three major arcanas. If you don't read tarot, there's 22 in the deck and you have three of the 22. And I shuffled. I shuffled before the camera and I shuffled during. So this is, the major arcana is something prominent. It is life events. It is, you know, lessons to be learned. It is lessons that you need to learn. Lessons you need to learn to move forward. Lessons you need to learn to live. So we have the chariot. The chariot is a card of cancer. It is a card of moving forward, of being in charge of your life, of being in the driver's seat, controlling the reins. Having options, having choices, making decisions. But moving yourself forward, propelling yourself forward. It could be coming with, again, somebody you like, somebody you want to start a partnership with, somebody you might want to start a relationship with. Somebody maybe you met through work. You might take the initiative. You might put yourself out on a limb with the full card, trusting your instinct, listening to you and not them. Ready to move forward, even if it's silly, even if you make a fool out of yourself, it's almost like you you're um, you're okay with that. Ready to take a leap of faith. The Hermit card talks about you know going inward, really getting to know yourself. I think this is the energy you 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 are still in. I think this is the energy you're seeking for in a partner also. So they know who they are. So you don't have to quote unquote heal them or, you know, we all, we always learn from our relationships and that's not what this card's about. You know, you don't want to have to do the deep soul searching for them. They have to do it for themselves. You've done yours. You, you're still working on it, but you have enough to shine your light. I love the, see that? Oh, love it. To shine your light for others to see, to call people in to say, you know, I will show you or I'll, I'll help you um, and, and show you what I've learned and show you how, how to, I got to where I'm at here. Maybe help them bring balance into their life. You know, seeing the way, seeing the way clearer, seeing where you need to go, seeing the path you need to take. And leaving 
what doesn't serve you behind. That's, I think, what you've been working on. That's what I think the Hermit card is all about for you. And I can't help but that, and it's never done it before, Canada comes to mind. It looks to me like a maple leaf, and I know, I know it's a star. There's no doubt it's a star. But on a certain glance on the card, it reminds me of a maple leaf. So if there's, shout out to anybody from Canada, hello. This could be, you know, something in it for you more deeply. Um, or pay attention, um, pay attention to this more. Um, sometimes watch it at the first of the week, the middle of the week, the end of the week to see how it resonates. Sometimes things don't resonate until you get into the week and go, oh, wow, I remember when she said something about this. You know, again, bringing balance to movement, bringing balance to your way forward, bringing balance to where you, where you want to go, what destiny you want. Taking a leap of faith. Being free. All right. I'll put another card for you. And I feel too you might hear news about something. You might, um, somebody might come over or come to you or um come you know knocking on your door or whatever about news about something or um maybe somebody come to see you that you haven't seen in a long time this is spring what a beautiful card i love it how it kind of echoes the the stars from the Hermit. Mm. Hope springs eternal. First thing I thought of. Let's see. Of course, you have the month of the month, the season of spring. The book says, allow water to cure you, release your emotions and anxieties. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. If you're, and again, you have the two of cups, so that is a water element there. You know, your emotions, being in touch with your emotions, bringing your emotions in balance. I think we talked about earlier. Being in touch with your emotions, being in touch with your reality. I think that a lot comes from the hermit card. I think a lot of that comes from um, spending time with yourself and seeing, um, exploring those aspects of you. Of really going within and deciding what, how you want to, what path you want to take. How you want to illuminate that. How you want to show others. What example do you want to set? You know, moving forward in your own way, doing your own thing. And not being, um, not having guilt over it. Not, not, you know, you're being caught. You're being shielded. You're being protected. I love how the fool, you have the sun, you have the dawn of a new day. You have this, um, you know, seize the day. Hmm. It could bring in a partnership. It could be bring in a friendship that could be something more. Could lead to a romance. All right. Aquarius, good luck to you. Please let me know if this resonates. If you don't want to type anything out, you can just feel free to give me a, um, a thumbs up. That will help. Again, uh, rise above your adversity. Rise above um, 
take charge, take control, and light your own path forward. Beautiful reading. Good luck to you this week. Stay safe and healthy. Aquarius, until next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.